Hello folks, we are doing a, a, a set of very short videos before the, the, the D-Day, the last one week run up to that, trying to answer a bunch of questions, very short, hopefully fun. We are thinking about what should be the, the what, sh what should be the score or number of attempts or ballpark for getting, clearing the cutoffs, assuming the cutoff is say 80th percentile, what should we be doing? Before that, all the caveats, fine. I have absolutely no inside information or knowledge or command or expertise about this. And so, so please take this as some kind of broad anchor. And so whenever you watch a T20 match or, or a cricket match, we usually say uh, the, the, the pitch expert goes in and says 160 should be a par total in this. At least they are looking at the pitch, looking at the batting conditions and then saying that. We don't even have that. And then it turns out it's a 220 track or a 120 track later on. So make sure that there will be 100 new inputs that change it. Right. It is but an anchor point. When you are feeling your way in, maybe based on our past experience, you can keep this at, at the back of your mind. And so for 80th percentile, which is like clearing cutoff in, in verbal, is probably 15 marks. Right. Five answers all correct will probably take you there. Maybe six all correct. Maybe 18 marks should tide you there. Most, most papers, 80th percentile. Six all correct is going to be tough because it doesn't happen always that everything is correct. So your route towards that is probably going to be 10 or 11 attempts and three wrong. That lands you at that place. But that will cross 80th percentile. Not even 18 marks, 15 marks should be done. For LRDI, one four question set, it generally crosses 80th percentile. Four questions, all correct, 12 marks, 80th percentile, done. For quant, five or six questions, all correct, you cross the 80th percentile mark. That's your first hurdle. Should look to say, okay, I have this in the back, then I'll chase chase everything else. And so, if you pull off all three, 15 marks plus 12 marks for 15 marks, we're talking about 42 to 45 marks. That ballpark that will be more, perhaps more than 90th percentile, or more, more than 90th percentile, but in the ballpark, 85, 87, somewhere there. Right? What should we get for 90th percentile? Little bit more, but not manically more. For verbal, it will be in the ballpark of 22 to 23 marks. For LRDI. One six question set, we are getting there, or four questions and two more. 18 marks, we are getting there, most likely, 90th percentile. For quant, eight questions, seven questions, eight questions, 21, 22, 24 marks, that 90th percentile. If you say, I want to get 90, 90, 90, that's what you're looking at. Once again, all the caveats, there's no inside information, no expertise, no gap. This should be like a broad anchor point. Say, hey, this is the ballpark. Maybe I have a chance. Maybe I'll think about this. I'll keep this in my mind when I'm taking this. I'll see if I cross one hurdle. I'll say, okay, I cross one notional hurdle. Let me go towards the next. Don't, sometimes the paper can be across the three slots, the levels of difficulty are wildly varied. The paper could be far easier on the day, far tougher on the day. Keep all those things in mind, but a broad guideline, you can keep this. Right? Best wishes.